Hey guys, welcome to the channel Food Tech Freak. I am Kate Key and I am back with another topic and that is sensory evaluation which is important in food industries. Now I am going to explain few things which are what is sensory evaluation, why it is done, who does it, how it is done and when it is done. But before I proceed, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon for more updates from us. So first is what is sensory evaluation. Sensory evaluation it is also called as sensory analysis. The name itself indicates that it is something which is related to human senses. Sensory evaluation is the process which involves method for measuring human responses to food which are perceived through the senses of sight, smell, touch and hearing. Let's take an example for better understanding. Gulab jamun. If I have given two samples of gulab jamun, one is haldiram and one is MTR. Now, what I have to do is eat the gulab jamun and tell the difference between these two, which one I prefer and why. So, I like MTR one because it has good bite, good texture and color than haldiram. I did this based on my senses. Firstly, I checked the color, which one is appealing. Now, the next is smell of product that which one has the good smell or the good aroma you can say and now third is the test which has good and long lasting test and last one is texture which one has a good texture depend on this i selected my choice on the same base sensory is done but methods are little different now we know what is sensory evaluation but we should also know why it's important so let's have a look on points which make sensory evaluation a vital part in food industries. First is to check the acceptance of newly developed product in the market. Second is to improve existing food products. Third is to maintain and comply consistency in quality. Fourth is to determine consumer acceptance of newly developed food products. And last is to compare food products with the benchmark standards. Now these factors make sensory evaluation important for food sectors. Now next is who does the sensory evaluation. Basically sensory analysis is done by sensory panelists and the sensory panels are classified into three categories and selected based on the type of test needed. Now first is trained panelists. Trained panelists are trained with different type of sensory techniques and trainings and used to determine and distinguish differences between the variants of the product. Now the panel consists of 5 to 10 members for example wine testers, sensory experts belongs from this category. Second is semi-trained panelists. This type of panelists are people from food industry background or from relevant area. These panelists can identify the differences between the product though they have not been formally trained. The panel should consist of around 25 to 30 members. For example, food technologies, biotechnologies are falls into this category. Now third is untrained or consumer panelists. Consumer panels are performed to determine consumer preferences and panelists are selected randomly from the different geographical areas and depending on the age, sex and income groups. For example, customers from supermarket who are given samples of food and they are asked for overall impression as well as like or dislike about the product which they are testing. The panel should consist of around 80 members. This is all about sensory panelists. Now let's explore about how sensory is conducted. To get relevant results from the sensory test, we need to apply specific evaluation rules and that is separate sensory booths or cabinet should be available. Each booth should be equipped with a stool or chair, individual overhead lighting so that the light distribution is uniform and panel should not identify the visual differences of the products. Fluorescent, warm white or simulated daylights are usually used. The panel room should be adequately ventilated with the comfortable temperature and humidity. Each panelist has to do sensory individually and must not communicate with other panelists during the evaluation which helps to collect each individual's response without any influence from the group. When batches of food being sampled for sensory testing, samples taken should be representative of the total batch. If the portion ultimately served to the panelists are not representative of the food as a whole, then result will not be valid. 
when food product consist of a number of small pieces which may differ from piece to piece panelists should receive a large portion enough so that they can evaluate number of pieces of each characteristics all sample should be presented at the same temperature and temperature at which the food is going to be consumed by consumer everyone should use clean spoons and separate dishes do not allow panelists to eat or drink anything except water before 1 hour of sensory do not allow panelists who are unwell maximum number of samples to taste at a time is 5 to 6 have a sip of water smell of coffee beans salt solutions rice or crackers or plain biscuits between the tastings as this will help to clean the palate which makes testing more effective when multiple samples are tested together once sensory is completed record the responses into the sheets once sensory is arranged in specific way it is carried out by using following sensory test first is paired comparison second is duo trio test third is triangle test and last is hedonic scales and there is another ranking system also there are different tests available for sensory evaluation which depends on number of samples number of uh, panelists nature of samples attributes for which product is being judged and many more now when sensory is done sensory is usually conducted between 11 to 12 am and 3 to 4 pm and that is why because these time slots are selected because sensory done exact after meals or before meals when hungry can give variations into the results now let's check what are the attributes of the sensory evaluation following are the attributes for which product is judged first is color then flavor taste now taste can be sour bitter salty sweet pungent now texture texture it can be crunchy crispy greasy creamy lumpy smoothy sticky and many more and overall acceptability of the product this is all about sensory evaluation by the panelists now there are other techniques also available in the market which does the sensory analysis yes the biosensors over the last few decades electronic nose that is e nose and electronic tongue that is e tongue have been developed to determine the quality of food and beverages they consist of array of sensors and cross sensitivity combined with pattern recognition software they have been widely applied for the analysis of wines so this is all about sensory evaluation you might have got an idea about it so if you have any doubts regarding sensory analysis you can comment below thanks for watching and we will be back with new topic and till then stay home stay safe and don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel thank you